The next day was Gloria's birthday, and the party was that afternoon. The cake was ready, the table was all set, and Mother was making hot chocolate. There were little baskets of gumdrops and chocolate-covered peanuts for everybody. There were place cards and party poppers for Mother and Father, for Francis and Gloria, for Gloria's friend Ida, and for Francis's friend Albert. Albert was the first friend to arrive. And he and Francis sat down in the living room while they were waiting for Ida. What are you giving Gloria? Francis asked Albert. A little tiny truck in a little tiny box, said Albert. Kind of cost 50 cents, asked Francis. That's right, said Albert. But my mother gave me the money for it. I am thinking of giving Gloria a combo bar, said Francis. But... I am not sure. I might, and I might not. I had to spend almost two whole allowances on it. That's how it is when it's your own sister, said Albert. I had to spend my allowance money on my little sister when she had a birthday. I gave her a yo-yo, but she is not high enough off the ground for a yo-yo, so I get to use it. Little sisters are not much RVSM, said Francis. Good, said Albert. That's right, said Francis. No, they are not, said Albert. They can't catch, they can't throw. When you play hide and seek, they always hide in places where part of them is sticking out. You take your sand pail and your shovel, too, said Francis. They fall apart and eyes, oh, doll, there's button eyes. They break your crayons so there are no long ones left in the box. They put water in your mouth pies when you don't want them to. I don't think many of them deserve a chompo bar. You can't use a chompo bar over and over like a yo-yo, said Albert. One time and it's gone. You should at least get part of it. That's right, said Francis. Here is Ida now, said Mother, and the party can begin. What are the presents, said Gloria? As they all sat down at the places where their place cards were. First, said Father, your mother will bring out the cake, and I will light the candles. Then we will all sing happy birthday to you. Then you make a wish and blow out all the candles. Then you get your presents. I know the cake, said Gloria. Don't tell us, said It won't come true if you do, said Albert. Here comes the cake, said Mother. Put it on the table, and Father lit the candles. Then everybody sang, Happy Birthday to You. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Gloria. Francis did not sing the words that the others were singing. Very softly, so that nobody could hear her, she sang. inside your head and blow out the candles, said Albert. Gloria said her wish inside her head and blew out all the candles at once. Said now your wish will come true, said Mother. This is what I wish, said Gloria. I wish that Francis would be nice and not be mad at me because I hit her sand pail and shovel last year. And I'm sorry and I will be nice. She told, said Ida. Now a wish won't come true. I think it will come true, said Mother, because it is a special kind of good wish that can make itself come true. Well, said Francis to Gloria, I think your wish will come true, too. And I have a present for you, and I owe you four balls of bubble gum. Now is it time for the present, said Gloria? Yes, said Father. Father and Mother gave Gloria the paint box and the tea set, the plush pig. 
Albert gave her the little tiny truck. Ida gave her a little China baby doll. Frances had wrapped the chompo bar in pretty paper and tied it with a ribbon. And now she got ready to give it to Gloria. What is it, asked Gloria. It is something good to eat, said Frances, and I will give it to you in a minute. But first, I will sing happy birthday to you because I did not really sing it before. Happy birthday to you. Sang Frances, and she squeezed the chumbo bar. Happy birthday to you. bite when I get it, said Gloria. Frances took a deep breath and finished the song. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Here, said Frances. She squeezed the chompo bar one last time and gave it to Gloria. You can eat it all because you are the birthday girl, said Frances. Thank you, said Gloria. As she quickly unwrapped the chompo bar. This is a good 